hi guys welcome back to my channel today we are filming the very long-awaited q a my graduation q a i'm gonna be answering all the questions and i figured why not i'm using my phone to film this so i had i didn't know how to look at the questions so i went ahead and screenshotted them and airdropped them to my computer so i can watch them over here and answer them so yeah there are a lot of questions by the time you guys see this hopefully it'll all be worth it all the weight and everything so without that being said let's go ahead and get started i said this in my stories there is going to be english and spanish questions i didn't get a lot of spanish questions but i'm still gonna answer them you know this one i got it a lot did you ever visit the college in person congrats on your graduation thank you um yes i did i went two or three times very few times and the only reasons why i would go was to get my transcript when i first came here and they got my transcript from the inter and yeah i really been going for like office type of reason last time i went was on june was it on june june or july that i went to pick up my diploma personally because they said that it was too risky to ship it through mail which i understand completely so I went and picked it up personally and a few medals that were missing. That's really it. Did your parents support you? Yes, they supported me since day one study. When I told them about my scholarship, they were a little iffy about it. They had their doubts because they have never experienced something like this, none of them. And seeing how they would need to let me go and for me to come here at first, I don't know if I've ever talked about this the way I left. Puerto Rico. I don't think I'm ever gonna say that because that's very private from me and my family. But the reason why I left was because of this. I really wanted this so, so badly. And yeah, I just wanted to be independent and do this on my own. For some reason, I felt like I was doing the right thing. It came in signs, okay? <laughs> yes, they did support me. After, after me coming here, they had their doubts were completely gone when they saw everything coming together and getting shit done here basically i i got these questions so many times and when i actually put the q a box why did you kept it a secret for so long listen i always like whenever i plan my things i'm very quiet about them because an advice that i always tell everyone is that if you plan your stuff quietly without telling anyone you won't get bad vibes people won't send bad vibes to you if you guys know what i mean like mala pura. and there's a higher chance that you can conquer things faster that's one of the reasons and second i ain't gonna lie i've always felt a little a little dowdy about and nervous about saying that i had a scholarship in this college because of how people knew me they didn't know the side the other side of me of me being nerdy and me knowing all these kinds of stuff you know and having the dicha of having i'm sorry i'm speaking spanglish but there are a few words i don't know of having a scholarship in ufl or anywhere you know i i felt like people were gonna be like well how did you do that you know and it's obviously you don't ask that question you never do you don't ask them like how did you get your scholarship obviously they got it because they're smart you know how many times did you change of major listen boo <laughs> three times no actually it was one but before entering college i wanted to be a chef i wanted to study the Physica. I wanted to study doctor <laughs> not thinking about it and seeing Grey's Anatomy and how I can't see blood uh -uh. when I entered to college I mainly started studying how do you say that in English pharmaceutica pharmacist I wanted to be a pharmacist is that how you say it I don't know if I'm saying it wrong I'm sorry and then I did that for one whole year that's why I thought I actually I was supposed to graduate last year but it didn't happen because I changed my major and I entered and I, I took biology about two times i think it was two times i flunked and i got traumatized and i changed but i also changed because i felt learning about this i felt like like ugh. You know, I felt like I didn't, I wasn't really truly interested. Changed my major to HR. And at first, I ain't gonna lie, I, I thought, I'm, I think I'm changing again. But then I was like, you know what? Just do this for a whole year to see how it goes. And then we'll go from there. And I really liked it. Like, literally. Did you always take classes online? No. Like I said, I started going to my college, the previous one that I was in, in the Inter. I went personally and then I changed and I started taking them online in the inter when i came here i only had about two classes left or three maybe and then i had to do my internship so i did that all online is it better taking online classes than going personally 
for me being how antisocial i am and i don't make i don't I, I don't i really didn't go to make friends i went to study and finish if i would have wanted and i knew that online classes was gonna pretty much be as hard as going in person then i probably would have done it since the beginning what's the message in your cap and where did you get the message hopefully i don't cry in this because it's a little cute sappy little message let me get my cap here's my cap you guys can see it a little closer now because in the pictures you guys would see it so far away but listen i had a lot of dms of people i know this of people telling me that the words were too close to each other and you barely understood that's why when i for those who follow me on facebook i wrote this on my huge long ass message and if you guys want me i can screenshot it and i'll put it here so you guys can kind of see it it says you're braver than you believe stronger than you seem smarter than you think and loved more than you know grumpito i specifically put grumpito and people i my mom actually told me and i kind of felt bad about this she told me wow well you dedicated it to your grandparents but what about your parents you know and i was like well you guys are part of this graduation but obviously it wasn't written in here it didn't say it in here i ain't gonna lie she kind of felt bummed about it and it made me feel sad <laughs> so that's why i in my message i specifically said that this graduation was dedicated to my parents which it is it was always like that i didn't need a reminder from her for her for me that for her to tell me this when i moved here i would tell my parents after my grandpito passed away i would tell my parents that i was going to dedicate my graduation to, to my grandpa and my and my grandma because they both passed away and they would always they've always been in all of my graduations all of my activities i would see them specifically her i would honestly just see the huge smile on her face, my grandma, and how happy she would always make me feel whenever she was she was in my room. You just whenever she was in your in the room, you would always feel like true happiness because she was always so happy. There was never a day that I saw her sad. And yeah, and just seeing how unexpected it was and very sad her passing truly motivated me more to finish this and dedicate this to them because i know they were gonna be and they are super proud of me you know yeah so i put the flowers for her the sunflowers i would always say that sunflowers are that i feel like they're the happiest flowers ever you know so i always thought about her as you know always being happy so that's why i got the flowers for her and the little stickers that are all of this are flowers as well so and then the color as well coral and this actually wasn't planned but now that i think about it i always saw her in this like dressed in navy blue and a little coral i would always see her like every single time i saw her she would have something navy blue and then other days she would wear like a really cute pop of color and then the message my grandpito will tell me this all the time every single graduation he would always tell me this message if i had my canasta i have in one of my baskets i have the last birthday card that i received from him which was last year and he wrote the message there as well but yeah that's what it means what's the worst part of graduating from college you must know the answer to this <laughs> worst part is there a worst part i mean i feel like my my worst part was graduating the way i did i didn't have my family out here and it was the first time ever that in a graduation i felt this is gonna sound so sad but i felt lonely i had my graduation here and it was virtual and it was very you don't have to cry <laughs> it was very sad i was all alone my husband was working and and it was like i said it was virtual so i was so sad that i didn't even take pictures i didn't take pictures of like the graduation i only have one of me smiling with the ones that gave me my internship like the practicum and the teach me which she was the one that moved her all and i have to say thank you to her because without her also i wouldn't have done this um she works in my college and she and i kind of clicked because of makeup she knows how to do her makeup and she instantly loved me because i once went there i had a full face of makeup and we instantly clicked and she works part of the department of administration and stuff you know where they get you your internship and at first i had so much trouble getting my internship and she gave it her all and she helped me so so much and then little did she know her personally this two months between may and june which was the last months that I had left from my internship, she was the one who gave it to me. She was like, 
surprise bitch i'm giving you my internship oh my god i don't know if i'm allowed to say that yeah i would say that was the worst part of graduating from college especially in a pandemic it's very very sad i know i'm not the only one who's gone through this yeah just not having absolutely nobody you know i'm pretty sure people will have their virtual graduation and i didn't even get a parade i didn't get anything you know like nothing and i barely even celebrated so it was very very kind of like sad and a little disappointing but hopefully my whenever this whole pandemic is over i can go see my parents and we can go celebrate all together so like i truly truly deserve it siempre supiste que querías estudiar gerencia de recursos humanos no <laughs> realmente no desde el principio como dije en la pregunta que contesté al principio fue que yo empecé estudiando farmacéutica quería ser asistente de farmacia creo que se le dice y estos eran solo dos añitos que tenía que estudiar y yo decía bueno pues yo voy a estudiar eso porque se ve súper fácil coge biología y después me dice si es fácil <laughs> Pero no, nunca supe. Otra cosa es que cuando estaba estudiando, yo me acordaba, ahí fue cuando empecé a amar el maquillaje y yo decía, bueno, yo quisiera hacer algo después de esto, como que después que estudie, completar algo que tenga que ver con maquillaje. No siempre, no, nunca supe que eso era lo que yo quería estudiar. Cuando ya empecé a estudiar Gerencia de Recursos Humanos, ya más o menos a la mitad de haber estudiado, fue cuando yo dije, ok, esto es lo mío, esto es lo que me gusta. Y a mí siempre me han gustado por experiencia, porque sí, acá yo he trabajado en oficina y tuve el, la dicha de experimentar lo que es HR de, en las oficinas y lo que la gente hace y eso era lo que me motivaba más a, a terminar esto que yo esta meta que tanto quería cumplir so. ¿Cuál es el próximo paso después de uno graduarse? Bueno, si tienes tu diploma tienes la opción de coger tu reválida si quieres que eso fue lo que yo hice y yo creo que yo no he dicho esto pero lo voy a decir al, al, al último yo la cogí porque por lo que sé y por lo que, por lo que sé que estudié y lo que aprendí tuve la motivación de coger fue súper difícil, pero si tú piensas que tú puedes, tú lo puedes hacer. That's all. Tienes que pensar positivo siempre y, y siempre creer en Dios porque nada de esto lo vas a cumplir sin Él a tu lado. Siempre, siempre con Dios. So, ya, yeah. yo diría eso y después empezar a buscar trabajo. So, y te digo porque por experiencia ya me pasó, ya cogí mi primera entrevista y si te dicen que necesitas experiencia con la primera entrevista, no te quites. Porque tú sabes, hay mucha... Vas a poder lograr y encontrar un trabajo sin tener una experiencia que tenga que ver con HR. So, créeme, créeme que nadie, nadie te puede quitar la motivación. O nadie te debería de quitar la motivación de seguir buscando. Did you started studying HR when you met your boo? Yes. Yes, he did. What's the number one thing you need when being a freshman? Asking for myself. Okay, first of all, congrats on being a freshman and graduated from high school. It's very hard because you get a lot of questions, you know, and you get very nervous. I remember like it was yesterday, the first day of a uh, freshman. I remember, I think I got there an hour early before my class were to tell me that the next few weeks, I would get like five minutes before my start, my class started, 10 minutes before. I don't know why I did that the first day, but you know, I guess it was just me being like nervous and thinking about like, am I gonna get lost? Where am I going? And then. And that's a whole other world. It's not the same thing as high school. Do you really want to know the one thing you need? A planner. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Look, this is my planner. After graduating, when I started college, I got myself a huge planner. It was like big like this because you know, you had a lot. I would, I would always take a lot of classes in my semester and I would need to copy a lot, all the projects I had to entregar, essays, presentations, tests, you know, things like that. Like all of that, you have to write it down and you can't have it all in your mind. You are stressing about everything in there, every single little thing. So please get yourself a planner. A positive mindset take all that negativity out i always say this whether it's college or not i'm always i always try and keep myself my mind positive and always think positive i have gotten this question since i started dating my husband and i didn't feel like it should have been me to answer this because maybe if i would have done a q a with him with him in here and not answering all of the freaking relationship questions for him he's too shy by the way that's why he doesn't do that i wouldn't need to be answering this question i wanted him to answer it himself but the question did your husband graduated from college as well he has how do you say that in english <laughs> he studied welding i think he has a certificate or some kind of diploma in there and no for those 
So we're gonna ask me, is he working on that? No, he's not, not yet. There you have it. Um, did you take a lot of classes in one semester or you took a few to take it easy? When I first started, I took a lot. And then I, between six, seven classes, I would say with my credito, I think I had a lot. My credito was always high, I would always pick like... I just wanted to keep myself busy. Yes and no, I would sometimes even take summer classes because I, when I started taking HR, I started taking summer classes because I wanted to speed up and I wanted to graduate the year that I was supposed to graduate, which was last year. But if it weren't for my internship and the how hard it was to find something here, I'm pretty sure I would have graduated last year. People would say like, oh, it's so hard. it's so easy finding internship. No, not everywhere is easy. The last years I did, started taking it easy i wouldn't take a lot of classes together because that's when i knew like okay i'm already finishing you know and especially when i moved here i had three classes left or two como surgió tu graduación fue virtual o tuviste que ir personalmente mi graduación fue bien aburrida <laughs> y bien triste because estaba solita aquí como dije en inglés mi esposo estaba trabajando mi familia no está aquí so realmente me sentí bien solita cuando bien sola cuando te me pasó pero Sí, fue virtual. Este no fue personalmente. Next, how did you do your internship online? It is is it different from doing it in person? Yes, it is very different. Online, it is like if they were giving you classes and you would just need to write it down. You don't get to work online. It's very different. You don't get to do everything because you don't have the control to do it because of the pandemic. But I was able to experience both. I actually did my internship. I started it on late December, I remember, and then I finished in the beginning of March which was when the pandemic started happening happening and we were getting a few cases here in Tampa which one would I prefer I would say in person in person you learn way more way more and you can do stuff you know they actually tell you like okay now you do this so I can see how good you are si tuvieras que coger entre la interamericana o UFL cuál escogerías y por qué 100% escogería yo escogería sin pensarlo UFL porque siento que UFL te enseña de una forma completamente diferente y yo pude pude experimentar eso yo repetí como dos clases que había cogido anteriormente en la Inter y cosas que había aprendido allá cuando vine aquí aprendí mucho más you know taking those classes este es completamente diferente te explican son como que pienso que más detallista y aprendes mucho mejor que aprendes a la mala sí porque en la universidad tú estás completamente sola tú no tienes a nadie that's normal sea en la Inter o en la UFL but es más difícil en UFL que en la Inter. So, si yo tendría que escoger por el lado así como que vale más fácil, cuál es más difícil, la Inter es más fácil, obviamente. Pero, sin pensarlo mil veces, volvería a escoger UFL. Y si tuviera que volver a estudiar desde el principio, I would pick UFL. I remember screenshotting this because I was dying in my bed last night. I was like, well, you guys have your ears and your eyes picked on, my, on the social media, you know? Okay, are you keeping other secrets? If so, can you spill the teases? Listen, I'm not gonna spill anything, but I guess I can kind of tell it now. Yes, I'm keeping one secret and I can kind of talk about it, but I don't have evidence yet because they were supposed to email me the results, but I actually, oh my God. <laughs> Como ven al principio les dije que había cogido la revalida en la semana pasada o hace como dos semanas fue cuando me enteré que Really? My fridge had to do me dirty. I was about to say it. Hace par de semanas me enteré que pasé la revalida. So tengo licencia. Mami ahora se pasa relajándome porque se pasa diciendo mi licenciada, licenciada Anaya que es el apellido de mi marido. Y... Le dije no, licenciado de Jesús, de Jesús, because I expect to keep it that way. I freaking love my dad's apellido. I, I just love it, you know? I'm from God. That's basically what it's saying. So I freaking love it, trust me. Of Jesus. That's how you would say it, not God. Of Jesus. And I think that's the reason why it made me love it so much. And because of how we all are, of humilde. Not that I'm saying that my parents, my mom's side, it's not. Because we all are um, pretty humilde. But my dad's family, I always get my humilde side from his side I'm so nice and I'm always super loyal and never give up on people I never say no and I feel like that I get it from my dad's side of the family because they always tend to help no matter what and they never tell you no and they are always 
always help helping yeah people will always would always ask me if i would ever change my last name i don't think so i feel like anaya doesn't go with diana anaya like no i don't see myself i don't like the last name on me i don't know but yeah that's the only secret let me go ahead and translate it is that really how you say revalida in english revalue so i'm just gonna tell you guys that i just passed my revalue <laughs> basically what i'm trying to say is that from now on you guys have to call me i passed my revalida if you guys want to search for it and translate it better than me then go ahead and be my guest but that's what i'm trying to tell you guys that's the secret that i was keeping it's kind of like the test that you guys take to kind of test if you're good at doing what you're studied basically which thank god i passed it i still don't know how many puntos or what how high was it that's why i don't have my proof i don't have the papers they chipped it to me through mail i'm supposed to get it through mail but i don't have a tracking number i don't know so that's i'm literally check every day on my mail is there other secrets yes but you guys we're gonna have to wait for a few more years in order, a few more years maybe maybe next year i will spill a little of the tea did you ever take summer classes congratulations babe thank you and yes i i did i took two years in a row i think i took summer classes and i even took intensivo if you guys know what that means i even took intensivo classes intensive classes <laughs> and then last but not least i really wanted to answer this question last i want to leave it for last because i love this question and i this is me sending a message out there any message or quote you never stop believing in since you started studying this is the quote that never stopped me from studying and my motivation was always me thinking that I can do this. I had so many people in my life that motivated me more and that wanted me to accomplish this goal, basically. That didn't want me to give up, basically. People that truly believed in me. I had them since day one. Yeah, I remember my husband would always tell me, don't give up, don't you dare give up, because if you do, you're taking your ass back to Puerto Rico. <laughs> I'm kidding. We would always joke around like that and I would always freaking laugh, like die of laughter i would be like are you really gonna ship me back he'd be like no i can't i love you too much <laughs> and it's true i never did I, I came here with a goal and i accomplished it and i always felt like you can't give up because if you do it's like you're taking one step forward and two step backs like gta este, how do you say that san andreas one step forward and two steps back <laughs> If you guys know that song, you're the real OG. <laughs> what was that este station? g Rose station in GTA that I would always listen. It was kind of like country music. Mississippi man, never in the all i'm gonna say you know just because it's hard it doesn't mean that is impossible you always have to think that you will get it done you always have to have a positive mindset and you always have to have god on your side so this is me answering questions and trying to get you to motivate you and keep on going if you're going halfway if you think that you want to give up don't give up this is me telling you it's a sign this is me giving you the sign don't give up keep on going I believe in you and if you believe in yourself that's all that matters and if you have people that believe in you that that's important because it means people truly love you and care for you and they want to see you be a successful person out there <laughs> boss bitch <laughs> yeah always have God on your side trust me it's the best feeling ever and I always believed I always prayed I used to always always pin this quotes and whenever I would enter Pinterest pinterest i out of nowhere i would always find this quote like specific one and i would be like oh wow that's a sign faith can move mountains it so can if you have faith that's all that matters that is it that is my last last question i hope that you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe as always and turn the post notification bell on so you guys can be notified every time i post a video and without that being said i will see you guys in my next one